cover is a follow-up to a shooting that we had on February 20th. Uh, just to kind of recap, this was in the 700 block, inside a trailer home in the 700 block of South Regal Place. It was about 6.15 a.m. when we were called. Um, what happened was there were some people that were inside the trailer. There was another guy that ended up getting a rifle, shot the victim. Uh, the victim and some other people went to the hospital, and then the shooter disappeared. So we really didn't have a whole lot of information um, who the suspect was. The victim refused to cooperate at all. Uh, the detective tried to talk to him several times, and, and he basically said that he wasn't going to give any help to this investigation. The detective was still looking into this, and uh, it was actually a few weeks later that uh, ended up finding out the name of a person that was involved, not necessarily the shooter, but somebody that was tied with this that may have witnessed that. Um, that person, um, she ended up getting hold of the Minnehaha County Fugitive Task Force, and they were able to find him uh, on March 11th. Um, when they found this other person, another guy showed up, and that ended up being the suspect. We didn't know that at the time, um, but the detective ended up interviewing the suspect and this other person, and that's when everything kind of came together. Um, the suspect was arrested for two counts of aggravated assault, distribution of controlled substance, possession of a loaded firearm while intoxicated, and possession of, of a firearm by a violent offender. Um, what ended up happening, the victim and the suspect know each other. They had some type of argument. The suspect went out to the vehicle, grabbed the rifle, came back in, and shot the victim. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, the suspect, his uh, name is Brandon Ray Killspotted, B-R-A-N-D-O-N. R-A-Y-K-I-L-L-S-P-O-T-T-E-D. And he's 29 uh, from Sioux Falls. I, th I think he has a Sioux Falls address now, but he's not originally from Sioux Falls.